We are in Northport, New York. We're at, we're at Haven Gallery, which was kind enough to invite me to do a solo show here. Um, we're sharing the gallery space with one, one other artist and a group show, which also has one of my pieces in it. Um, and it's been really great. Uh, Haven Gallery has been so uh, great and warm and uh, nurturing to me as an artist. Um, I've had some pieces with them before, which was before I was doing this kind of work, and they really responded to the new work and invited me to do this show. And um, some of the pieces have already sold. Uh, some of the pieces have sold during the opening, um, and there's more people talking about it, and people are really responding to the work, so I'm, I'm really happy. Yeah, do you want to tell me anything about that? Like, how, how do you think the opening went? Uh, I think the opening went great. <laughs> um, I had a, a number of friends uh, from, from Brooklyn come in uh, for the show. And I had some folks come in from Philly uh, and Nashville uh, and lots of other places. Um, so it's, it's been really great. I feel really supported. Uh, and some people, like I said, you know, people are actually buying the work, which is, which is, which is a nice way to show their support. Um, and yet people haven't seen this work from me before. Uh, it's, you know, I've, I've been drawing and painting and you know, I was doing digital work and then uh, acrylic work and I was working commercially and uh, after my daughter was born I stopped doing commercial work and really started exploring my own voice. And this is, this is really the, sort of the first time I feel like the voice has kind of bloomed and people are really digging it. I'm getting Lots and lots of comments from people. Lots of people are writing me, asking me, you know, how I'm doing it, or you know, where the inspiration comes from. And it's it's attention that I haven't really gotten on my work before. So it's been it's been really nice. But this is different for me. It's a different process. I'm not building something in three dimensions, but I'm using three dimensions to tell the stories that I'm telling. Um, and the stories, the process, aside from the the actual technique, the stories evolve as I create the work. So it's it's not just the intention, the original intention behind the work, but it's about what's happening as I make the work. It's about the struggles that I'm having, the struggles that my kids are having, the struggles that I see my friends having, the struggles that I you know, feel in the world or in the art world. I mean, the world's having so many struggles right now, and, and you know, all of that stuff kind of gets into the work in, in various ways. So each one I look at and I can remember what I was doing as I was making it and what I was thinking about and how that influenced the choices that I was making, so. Why do you think people respond so strongly to what, what you have on show here? Well, I mean, I'd like to say that it's, you know, it's a, that I'm finally getting in, in, in touch with a way to communicate the, the message that I have. But I also think that just no one's really seen this kind of thing before. And they're like, this is really cool. Like, what, what is this? Like, how did you do this? What did you, how did you, did you build a thing to make the thing? Like, it's just people are really curious about it. I don't think people have seen this kind of thing before. I mean, People work in resin, they work in paint, they draw stuff, they, they do portraits. Like, none of this stuff is new. I'm just, I'm doing it in a way that I certainly haven't seen before. I, I, maybe somebody's done it. I mean, if you're out there, you know, I'm sorry. I, you know, I'm doing it too. Uh, but, you know, I'm doing this thing that I just, I discovered on my own. Uh, and discovered through a lot of work and a lot of trial and a lot of error, a lot of error. <laughs> and a lot of money getting through this resin. This resin stuff is expensive. <laughs> Um, but it's just been so worth it uh, for me to explore this stuff and to reach this point where I finally feel like I've got, I've got something that I'm communicating clearly through my art. Do you have a piece uh, here today that you're particularly attached to or that's a favorite? You know, I told somebody earlier that at some point during the process, they've all been favorites. At some point, I was in love with each and every one of them. And I know that's such a cop-out to say, but like, you know, as I'm working on them, there's points where I'm like, you know, you get that feeling that... Uh, I think Jane McGonagall calls it fiere, or you know, you know, when you're like playing a video game and you like just make it like, and you hit the final boss and you like just beat him and you're like, yeah, like I've had that feeling with each of these pieces where like something just happens just right and you're like, holy crap, that like, that worked. I can't believe that worked. Or or something happened by accident. And you're like, wait, this is really cool. I bet I could replicate that. And you do it again. So there's like a lot of stuff in there that was just just accidents that I just kept doing. 